Welcome back everyone. The Arts Council of Oklahoma City has been working hard to bring the arts to the community, our arts to the community and bring the arts and community together for more than 50 years. One of the biggest events they put on every year is the ever popular Festival of the Arts. And as they get ready for the 2023 version, they're looking for folks who want to get involved here. So join me now is Susie White and Farouk Kareem. They are the co-chairs of next year's festival. Thank you for joining me this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How much of an honor is it to be a part of this major event here in Oklahoma City? People look forward to this event every year. And I'll start with you, Susie. How, how much of an uh, honor is it to be a part of this? Huge honor. Mm -hmm. I never would have thought that I would be asked to serve in this position. And so it's, it's very exciting. Yeah, same question for you, Farouk. How much of an honor? Love it. Been volunteering for probably 15 years, and uh, it's it's my favorite week of the year and my favorite event in Oklahoma City, and I think it's just one of those things that makes Oklahoma City such a great place to live. And, and Farouk, can you talk about the Festival of the Arts and just how much it means to the community, not only financially, but otherwise as well? Well, I think it's, <clears throat> you know, it's just such a wonderful opportunity for us to be together, to be outside, to be celebrating the arts. Um, I think most people that come to the, the Festival of the Arts realize it's a great event, but unless you've been to other events outside of Oklahoma City, you don't realize how special ours is. There are others that are larger, but none quite as good as ours. Yeah, and I, as having gone this year, I know that it's amazing. It's an amazing event that people absolutely love. Mm -hmm. uh, Susie, you know, you guys are the co-chairs of next year's event. How much work goes into getting ready for this event? I'm sure you guys start months and months in advance. <laughs> we do, as a <laughs> yes. matter of fact, we started uh, this past summer. Okay. And uh, we will just work with our um, day chairs and committee chairs um, from now until April. So it's, it's, it's a long process. It's a one week window that takes um, almost a year to put together. Yeah, and it's the, exciting. Uh, the end result is, is well worth it, no doubt Absolutely, about that. we love it. Okay, yeah. so you guys are looking right now for people that want to be involved in next year's festival. Talk yes. about what you guys are looking for exactly here. So what we're looking for right now are food vendors. <clears throat> we have 21 large food vendor tents. We also have uh, a variety of food carts for food vendors. Um, we're also looking for performers. We have about 100 slots open for local performers, everywhere from bands, adults, single performers, dance groups, children's groups. Um, last year we actually started paying those performers, so it's a wonderful opportunity for just, you know, local performers to get out there and show their stuff. Yeah, extra incentive knowing that these people are going to be paid for, Absolutely. for all their Absolutely. work out there. Why should people be jumping at this opportunity, Susie, to, to get involved with the Arts Festival here? You get to spend um, some time downtown with the city of Oklahoma City, all of the, the your neighbors and friends, um, put your name out for those that are, are attending festival. Uh, there, um, there's just a lot of exciting opportunities uh, for anybody who's performing. And that's what we need. We've got plenty of spaces. Um, we can go, they can go to our website and uh, sign up as either a food vendor or um, a performing artist and it's all right there on our website and they can um, get involved that way. And in terms of these performers you're looking for, there's no limit to the genres, no. to, to what you guys no. are, are looking for, right? We like a wide variety, uh, just like the artists. So we have 144 artists. It's a, it's a blind jury process um, and very similar with food and performers. So there's a jury process to get in and there's always a lot of um, restaurants, always a lot of performers and we, we always have um, a lot of great competition, so we want variety, we want um, different ages, different types of performers. Uh, that's what makes it fun and that's what makes it great. Okay, Susie, I know you just mentioned it, but one more time, if people want to sign up, if they want to apply, how do they go about doing that? They can go to our website, artscouncilokc.com. Okay. And right on our very front page is the, the link to click, depending on if you're a food vendor or a performer. Okay. I know we're a few months out here, but can you give us an, an early preview here of what we can expect from this 2023 <laughs> Arts Festival? Um, great art, um, performances from um, local uh, talent, uh, fantastic food. Mm. We have some of the best food at our festival than any festival in uh, the nation. Yeah. And we're very proud of that. As a person that spent way too much money this year at this <laughs> festival, I, I can uh, uh, attest to that. And Farouk, what do you have to say about this upcoming festival? This year? I, I would say the same thing. I think, you know, <clears throat> our art is on par with any festival in the nation, but I think what sets ours apart is the sense of place, um, being in Bicentennial Park. Um, I think the food, 
the performing arts. And then one thing that, you know, Susie kind of touched on is just what it takes to put this on. I want to make sure we give a shout out to our volunteers. It takes over 5,000 volunteers. We have paid staff. Um, and, and also our first responders, police, uh, fire that, that are out there helping us, keeping people safe. Um, it's, you know, for me, it's really all about the people and I met some wonderful people, including some of those first responders that have become really good friends. And I like to see at other events throughout the year. So it's just, the, it, like I said before, it's just the best week of the year. All right, Farouk and Susie, you can't wait for next year's Festival of the Arts. I'm sure it's going to be a, a great time if you guys are in charge of it. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Thank you.